Welcome to this screencast. We are going to do binary addition using pen and paper. This is for GCSE Computer Science. I'm Mr. Gora. So let's uh, do a quick recap. If you add up two numbers, let's say um, 18 and 14, you've got your first number on the first line, your second number on the second line, you will write your result and underneath the result, just if needed, you're going to have a line where you will write down the carry. Then you proceed column by column. 8 plus 4 is 12. You write 2 and you carry 1 into the next column. And then you've got 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1 for the carry, 3. And we're going to do exactly the same thing when adding two binary numbers. I'm going to have a first number, the second number, I'll have my result, and if needed, I will write down the carry underneath the way we do it in the UK. Let's pick up two binary numbers, 0, 1, 1, 0, to which I will add 0, 0, 1, 1. And I start with the first column starting from the right. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 in binary gives me a 0 and I carry my 1 into the next column. This column I've got 1 plus 0 plus 1. 1 plus 1, same as what we've done, I write down 0 and I carry my 1 here. So here's the result of my binary addition, is that number here. To do your binary addition, you need to remember four results. 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 is the same as 0 plus 1. And that's going to give you and I need to change my ink. 1 plus 0, same as 0 plus 1, and that result is 1. 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 gives you a 0 carry 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1 gives you a 1 carry 1. Remember that the carry applies to the next column. So if you was to write this same binary addition, but as a two-bit binary, you would have one plus one gives you, same thing here, zero carry one, the carry is in the column to the left, the bigger column, so that would be the result, which you recognize as being correct. And your zero one, the so one, plus one, plus a third one representing a carry. Its result, if you learn this table here, one carry one gives you one, carry one, the carry is the bigger column, the column to the left. And again, you recognize that result as being correct. I look forward to seeing how you apply this to uh, the work you're going to do in a class.